For us now, the days that are past, which were before thee, since the day that God created man upon the earth, and ask from the one side of heaven unto the other whether there has been any such thing as this great thing is, or has been heard like it. Did ever people hear the voice of God speaking out of the midst of fire as thou hast heard and lived? Or hath God essayed to go and take him a nation from the midst of another nation by temptation, by signs, and by wonders, and by war, and by a mighty hand, and by a stretched out arm, and by great terrors, according to all that the Lord your God did for you in Egypt before your eyes? Unto thee it was shown that thou mightest know that the Lord, he is God, and there is none else beside him. Out of heaven he made thee to hear his voice, that he might instruct thee, and upon the earth he showed thee this great fire. And thou heardest his words out of the midst of the fire, and because he loved thy fathers, therefore he chose their seed after them, and brought thee out of his sight, with his mighty power out of Egypt. He brought out thee, and come before thee, greater and mightier than thou art, to bring thee in, to give thee their land, for an inheritance, as it is this day. No, therefore, in this day, consider it in thine heart, that the Lord, he is God in heaven above, and upon the earth beneath. There is the southern no kingdom needs to repent. They need to go warn their people. They need to go warn the Christians. They're supposed to be rebuking the church. Saturday begins Saturday. Morning Sabbath morning. is Saturday. Not evening to evening. That's a Babylonian tradition. The reason why you hearken unto it is because you live in Mystery Babylon, in Sodom and Gomorrah, in Egypt. It's a spiritual condition of a people. Whom are the people that care to listen to their God and obey His Ten Commandments, eat clean, which is His Rainbow Covenant, and then the most important, to show mercy, which is to fulfill the royal law. If you do not show mercy when the hour of temptation comes upon you, like a thief in the night, when Hasatan is cast down to this wicked, an awful nation that did not hear and heed the words of the prophets. The northern tribes were scattered here. All of Judah, this is unto you. Go find your brothers and sisters from where thou they've been scattered before they take your place. It is love, for he wants none to perish but all to come unto repentance. Hearken unto the word of the Lord before it is too late. I wish no harm upon no soul, neither does the Lord our God. But if you wish to just plead for yourselves, you will lose your souls in the process. Was it not said unto the Pharisees in times past, what are you doing? What are you doing? Tell the people the truth. There is but little time for this island and the likes of it. It is time that we find repentance and grace and tell the Christians for the love of God. Judah, you've always had the law. You've had the Torah. You were supposed to tell them to get rid of their idols, their Christmas trees. You know these things are pagan. You were told, tell them, tell them the truth. And you will be again to see clearly. For the hour is nigh, and there's not much time to, to work. You not say that the Lord delays his coming. He'll come to you as a thief in the night. How can you have the day dawning in your heart if you believe the Sabbath begins in the evening? It begins at dawn. The Sabbath begins at dawn. 
How can you have the day dawning in your heart if you don't believe the day starts in the day, in the morning? Go warn the people. 